So this video I'm going to make, it's going to be a full body upper and lower mobility warm up. So this would be good to do maybe before your practice or game, kind of get all the joints and different body parts warmed up. Um, not, just, not necessarily static stretching because uh, you don't necessarily want to like static stretch cold muscles. So, I mean, th this will help kind of get blood flow in easier while improving your range of motion of your different muscles and body parts and joints. So, here we go. So, we're going to start with the lower body. The first one we're going to do, it's, it's going to actually make sure the camera's good. Just so you can see the feet positioning. So, first one you're going to go toes pointing forward, feet pointing forward, up shoulder width apart. Just going to go body weight squats right here. Keep the chest and torso upright. And just try to get your butt in as low as you can. You're going to do 10 there. Then you're going to go feet pointing outwards, toes pointing outwards, still about shoulder width apart. You're going to go 10 here as well. Same, same thing. Up right here. You're going to go 10 there. After that, you're going to want to grab some type of like long pole object. Actually, let me. That yeah, should be good. Okay. So, some type of a barbell or whatever you can use. You know, overhead squats. You know, back to the Toes and feet pointing forward position, shoulders apart. Stick the pole like object overhead and then squats again. Staying upright as you can with your upper body and chest. Ooh, how big mobility. And then toes and feet pointing outwards. Ten here. So each of those four squat variations so far, 10 reps each, one set. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go, we actually need some type of, some type of thing to step over that is pretty tall. So, I, I have this button here, I'm big. So, you're gonna face sideways to whatever you have here. And you're just gonna step over that object sideways. So, the higher you can go with this here, the better. Just it, it might help open up the hips more, just because they gotta go through a little bit more uh, range of motion. So right there. So that's one rep, two reps. You know, twenty reps total. So ten to each side here. Um, if you feel the need, another one. I don't have this in my program I wrote out, but this is pretty good. Um, elevated front and back lunges. So, as you see there, I have a block that's like, I don't know, maybe four or five inches tall. So, start with the front ones. I will put my right foot on the block. Try to keep that foot flat and have a pretty wide base, so I'm just going to basically lunge forward, and I want, actually I want this right here, the hamstring, to cover this right here, which is the calf, so right in there, if you need to here, hold it for a couple seconds, feel the stretch throughout the, the hips and the lower body, come back up, come up again, go three, about like three reps each side here, um, yeah, we'll get both legs there. Then we'll put it on the back side. Foot on it in the back. Pretty wide base once again. Same thing. Keep that front foot flat on the ground. Try to get your hamstring to cover your calf. Right there. So... Those are pretty good. Those get into the hips pretty deep and open them up pretty, pretty well. Um, so next we have the... Yeah, it should be good there. Next, um, you're going to stand 
center, pretty wide base, feet off to this side. We're going to start on one side in like kind of a very low squat, and then you're just going to try to get to the level where this is parallel to the floor. Try to keep your chest and upper body upright as much as you can, and you're just going to slide through. So that's one rep, that's two reps, we're going to go ten to each side here. After that, we're going to go into our 90-90, which will be on the floor. So, I 90-90 on the floor, basically legs 90 degrees. So what we're going to do here, we're going to lift both legs and rotate over to the other side. So and have your hands here or so. Rotate. Once I get there, I'm going to sit up. Come back down, rotate to the other side, sit up. Sit up. Sit up. You're going to go five to each side here, so one, two, and so forth. Next, you're going to go back to the 90-90. You're going to go facing forward here and keep this foot flat in the ground. With this knee here, we're going to go five lifts right there. Try to keep upper body kind of over this leg here, not leaning back. Just have it nice and centered over. You go five there. Then you're going to go face forward, same thing, stay right over this leg, same thing, and we're going to lift on the back side. We're going to five there. And then same thing on the other side. And then face forward. Those are all the lower body ones. Um, sets and reps, I mean if you need to add more, that's just what I've said so far, it's just kind of like a baseline of what to do, but you should be feeling pretty warm around the hips and throughout the lower extremity right now. So now we're going to go to the upper body stuff. So first one, if you have a pull-up bar, it'd probably be good to do. Um, just a pull-up bar hang, so just hang from the pull-up bar. Just let the spine and body kind of just kind of air out, decompress. Go one set, like 30 second hold. Um, if you don't have a pull up bar, another good option you can do and or do both of T spine rotations. So you'll lay on the floor, you're gonna lay on your side. So I'm on my left side here, I'm gonna bring my right leg across, bring both hands to that side. Now my top hand, so my right hand here. I'm going to breathe in and just make a nice big arcing circle. So, try to keep this right leg on the ground. Just stretch it out there. Exhale, bring it back. You're going to go five to each side here. Actually, you can do five like that. Before you go to the other side, you're going to go five just straight across. You need to hold it at the end point. Do a couple seconds or so. Just feel a nice stretch. Bring it back and get the other side. Same thing. Just kind of feel it out. This is the technique of it. So. So those are T-spine rotations. After that, we're going to, if you have access to a dumbbell, that would probably be ideal for the dumbbell pullovers, but um, uh, basically have some type of flat bench or something so you can rest your upper back on it. Um, where's the bucket? So, basically. Just right here. 
here. Now if I were to have a dumbbell, just basically just let it stretch back as far as you can. Keep the elbows fairly bent and then just pull it right over. So right there, um, I recommend five reps and then when you get that dumbbell in that back position, maybe hold for like a two to three Mississippi count just to let the shoulder kind of stretch. Um, that's a good one to open up the whole upper back and shoulder area. And then to finish off that body stuff, just do a little bit of rotator cuff activation. So a weight, maybe a plate or a dumbbell, whatever you please. You're gonna lay on your side. You're going to take the hand with the weight in it, put the elbow and the upper arm just right at your side. You can take your opposite arm, put it underneath to make sure that this is in contact with the side. That is ideal, that would, that's what we want. We don't want to be doing stuff like this. So, just right here, you're just gonna rotate up. Multiple sides here. We're gonna go 10 reps each side on this one. Show them right there. All right. So yeah. Ten reps to each side with that one. And then still um, with one hand you're gonna hold the dumbbell or the plate, whatever weight you have. Set the hips a little bit. Bend forward, chest facing the floor. We keep this all upright or straight, not bent, not bent like that. Arms just nice and loose hanging down here. Weight with hand without the weight, just keep rested. And with the weight, you're just gonna do a nice side raise. We're gonna go 10 reps there and get both sides. And then one more thing a band. Whatever band you please. I'm just going to go holding it with palms facing up, just right out in front. Slow and control, just pull it right to the chest. At the chest, maybe hold for a second or two. Really feel the chest open up. You have five reps there. Um, main focus here, you have two bones right around here. You want to feel those kind of squeezing in like that. Just pull the shoulders back and set in a good position. So, that is a good pre-practice game workout. Um, mobility routine to warm up the upper and lower body. Um, get some blood flow in as well as work, you know, range of motion throughout the joints in the body. So. I hope this helps.